from the Florida CME Group. This is Danny Riley on this option expiration Friday, October 15th. Listen, the markets are flaying all over the place here today. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go back a little bit to yesterday's decline. And during yesterday's decline, our desk kept thinking that the markets were going to bounce out of there. And even on the IM a couple of times, we came out saying that we thought we would make new highs. Well, the, the S&P continued down right into the close. And then Google came out reporting gangbuster earnings, was up 37 bucks right away, took the S&P back up right toward the highs of the day, right around the 73 level. 73, 75 level. And then this morning when we came in, the markets were again a little bit on the weak side. And this has a little bit to do with the big run up that we saw late in the day, but it's also got a lot to do with what's going on in the S&P itself. It's an option expiration today. And what we think is despite the stats being very good throughout the week, that a lot of this rolling, all these people as the market went higher, they continued to roll up or they bought futures to protect those positions, leaving the market this morning with with very little on the buy side. In fact, when we came in, the market opened up around the 78 even level, traded up to 78.80, and then sold all the way off down to 63. On RIM, we kept coming out, banging out that they were doing sell program, sell program, sell program. And what the, the way this is set up is that with the markets up so much and so many sell stops below, as these sell stops get elected, they trigger the bids of the sell programs that, that, elect, the, that elect the program. So now the S&P has just bounced back up we got back up toward this, the 69 level, and on our desk, we, we came out saying that we wanted to buy 69s, and the thing dropped like a bucket. And we, we, we added down at, these, at the 65 half level, and this is not anything that we recommend. We think when you, you get in the market, you're supposed to use a stop and hold it, but we, we added to the position, and we did get out with a small profit, but that's not what we were looking for. Buying a falling knife today was very, very scary. Now, Steve Uby, one of our one of the guys that helps out on the on the IM, has been quote, quoting and saying for the last couple of days that he thinks this 83-85 level could be the high for a while, and we're getting the feeling that this could be the case. As far as the rest of the day is concerned, you know we've had a little bounce here, but the markets seem like they're underselling pressure, and the volume has been big. We started out with about 450,000 minis. Right now, we've got about 1.35 million going on one going on 1.4 million. So they've already done almost a million minis in an hour and a half here. We'll be back on Monday with another update. The stats are good for Monday, but we just don't know what's up. The markets have gone too high, and we think we may be in some type of corrective mode here. We'll see you soon.